Welcome back to Zenata Consulting for another tutorial video. In this tutorial, we're going to be discussing integrations and extensions for Zoho Desk. This excerpt is from a full product tutorial on Zoho Desk recorded by myself and Josh Oliver in March 2023. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. We have a brand new weekly Q&A show called a Zaz, that's Ask Zenata Anything About Zoho, where we answer any questions left in comments on videos from the previous week. If you enjoy the video or find it useful, please like and subscribe. It helps get our video in front of more people, helps our channel to grow, and ensures you get the latest and greatest from here at Zenata. Now, without further ado, let's get desking. Zoho Desk on its own is a very powerful tool, but there are a few uh, integrations and uh, marketplace extensions that you can get that can enhance it even further. We get to those extensions by going to your settings and coming to the marketplace. Here you have the options of uh, selecting from just the marketplace as a whole, or there are a few specific pre-built integrations with Zoho Desk. Uh, such as with various Zoho apps. Uh, a few of them uh, Josh already went over earlier in the video, such as being able to attach a contact to a CRM contact, and you'd be able to see their Zoho CRM information from within the ticket. Uh, similarly, you can set up integrations with uh, various apps in the finance suite, Zoho Invoice, Zoho Books, Inventory, Subscriptions, all of these uh, integrations can sync your desk contacts with your other app contacts, uh, as well as being able to create records in those apps without having to leave Zoho Desk. So I could create a new Zoho subscription for a customer from within Desk rather than needing to uh, jump into Zoho subscriptions and create uh, one for them. Similarly, in Zoho Inventory, I could create a sales order or an invoice from within a ticket. Uh, they're pretty simple to set up. You simply click onto one of these particular uh, integrations. Then you'll click on Integrate and you'll follow uh, whatever the instructions are for that particular extension. Uh, you'll set up your configuration details. Uh, determine if there's any kind of syncing going on between the apps, uh, how you want different fields from a Zoho Desk uh, item to be synced with a, in this case, a Zoho Inventory product, right? So in Zoho Desk, there's a field called Product Code, likely in Zoho Inventory that would go to a SKU or a manufacturer might be called uh, something different in Zoho Inventory, just depending on how you have your Zoho Inventory system set up. Uh, we also have, uh, as Josh mentioned, the option of integrating Zoho Analytics uh, with Zoho Desk uh, to give you a lot of powerful analytics tools uh, for keeping an eye on your agent's performance and your customer's experiences. You can also uh, integrate with Zoho Projects to create tasks and uh, submit any issues uh, similar to the uh, bug tracker to uh, keep, essentially get problems in front of the right people who need to start working on them uh, as fast as possible. Because perhaps your help desk agents, they're more acting as the interaction between the, the customer and your company, but they may, they may not be the actual developers who need to fix a particular thing and so projects might be where your actual operations team uh, will be there ready to fix anything that needs to be fixed. Uh, we also have uh, integration for Biggin, which uh, very similar to the CRM, uh, it's just kind of a more streamlined, straight out of the box uh, version. Uh, very particular to uh, Zoho Desk is we have Zoho Assist and Zoho Lens, which uh, Zoho Assist uh, is a way to do screen sharing uh, support sessions with your customers. Uh, if you need to take control of their screen, have them share uh, their system with you. Zoho Lens is another great application for extending your agent's ability to help your customers. 
Zoho Lens uh, uses augmented reality technology with your customer's uh, smartphone to be able to show in a 3D environment uh, your customer's product to your agent. And your agent can actually create live annotations or comments that your user will then be able to see through their phone screen displayed on the product itself, uh, anything that they need to uh, try to inspect uh, on the agent's behalf. So really helps to, uh, it, you know, before you have to send a field service agent out there to assess the situation, there's a lot that you can do remotely in real time. Also, if you are a Microsoft user, some important uh, extensions here. If you are using Office 365 as your email client, you can integrate directly with uh, Zoho Desk so that you don't need to share any of your uh, Office 365 login information uh, with Zoho Desk. That essentially Office 365 will be the actual mail servers uh, and your users uh, will log in using Office 365, but then they will be able to use the Zoho Desk interface for interacting with those tickets. On the other side, if you are a user of Microsoft Teams, then you can actually have Zoho Desk be the server and holding all of your tickets. But if your agents prefer to work in Microsoft Teams, you can respond to and view tickets from within Microsoft Teams uh, using this extension. And these are uh, both new additions to Desk here at the end of 2022 going into 2023. Uh, a few other uh, pre-built extensions. Uh, as I've we've mentioned a couple of things about uh, creating uh, SMS notifications. Uh, you can uh, send SMSs uh, using some of these built-in add-ons. Uh, you will have to uh, purchase credits from uh, either of these vendors, SMS Magic or uh, Clickatel. And then you can configure for those vendors, uh, which number should an SMS message be sent to? Most likely it's just gonna be your contact's phone number, but if you had a separate field uh, that you were using for mobile, then you could specify that. Uh, and then you can determine that for uh, the from number that will appear, should it be coming from your agent's mobile phone number field or their phone phone number field? Uh, in addition, you have uh, Jira or Salesforce uh, for, again, just tracking your cases and your data, uh, similar to the CRM integration with Salesforce. If you wanted to uh, have the, if you're using your Salesforce as your main CRM and you wanted to use Zoho Desk uh, to manage your ticketing system. Uh, if you're not using Click, uh, you want to use uh, Slack instead, you can also uh, have your Ticket updates uh, go to your agents if your agents are all on Slack to let them know the ticket's been assigned to them, that a ticket has been escalated to them, et cetera. Uh, then we also have uh, Zapier that has a lot of different templates uh, to connect your Zoho Desk to various other systems uh, that can, say, create uh, connections to MailChimp or your Gmail or your Google Calendar, Shopify. Lots of different possibilities. And actually, if we go back to the uh, Zoho Marketplace options, uh, we do also have Zoho Flow, which is uh, Zoho's equivalent of Zapier. Uh, there's also a lot of different connectors possibilities in there. Uh, Zoho Flow does have a few pre-built uh, commonly used flows for Zoho Desk. Um, not nearly as many as Zapier straight out of the gate, uh, but you have some things for if you are using JotForm or Trustpilot or Wootrick, that uh, these can create tickets or contacts uh, in your desk. But you certainly are not limited to these options for Zoho Flow. You can always go to uh, flow.zoho.com, uh, which is included if you are a Zoho One subscription. And uh, you know, on creation of a ticket or update of a ticket, uh, you can have something happen you, know, you can create things to happen in QuickBooks or in uh, Zoho Invoice or 
oh, the, the possibilities are uh, very extensive in Zoho Flow uh, that unfortunately we can't explain all of them here, but uh, you, you'll be able to do almost anything you could think of. Uh, finally, uh, kind of as more overall, uh, if we come back here to Marketplace All, there's a number of extensions out there in the marketplace uh, that are put together uh, that you can uh, enhance your, C your Zoho Desk system with. One of the newer ones from the Zoho Corporation uh, that hasn't yet made it over into their pre-built integrations, but I'm sure will over time, is a Zoho Campaigns for Zoho Desk. So you can install that uh, and it will allow you to see for a particular contact all the campaigns that they've been involved in. You can also, from within a uh, ticketing screen, you can add a contact to a particular mailing list um, or create an even brand new mailing list based off of uh, your desk contacts and uh, adding them straight into a Zoho campaign from there. Uh, as always, uh, after you've installed a particular extension, you can, by clicking on all and coming here to installed extensions, you can see anything that you have already installed. Click it if there are any particular settings that you might need to change. So in the case of the Zoho campaigns, uh, I could set up that, do I want it on every department or just a few departments? Uh, do I want to allow everybody access to it? Or do I want to specify by particular agent or particular agent profiles of who should have access? Uh, and finally, you'll also notice any updates that might need to happen to your extensions, you can get to from here, you'll see the little notification here, saying that this particular extension is asking for an update. And so you find that up here in the upper corner here, or you can simply click it on the list there. And there you have it. Those are uh, just some of the many, many different extensions and integrations that you can use to further enhance your Zoho Desk experience for your agents, as well as for your customers.